everybody, this is Doctor Who, this is season 13, this is episode 5, this is part 1 of The Brain of Morbius. This is a story I've really been looking forward to getting around to again, I love this story. There's just something magical about it. Not only do we get Philip Maddock in this, but we also get the, the beautifulness that is the Sisterhood of Khan and some sneaky little elixir of life. Um, there's just something really, really special about this story to me. I just love watching it. So I'm not going to delay too much. I'm just going to go straight on into this one. So let's go. I love this opening. It's just a, it's such a good opening to a story. Like the graveyard of ships. The poor soldiers crashed. See, this is what happens when you've got a megalomania. There are no survivors. One. An oxygen breather. Yeah, so I you killed the poor thing. Excellent. That is an insect! I hate that this insect died. Like you can see it won't do. But the, the big head's not come, master. Not to con. <laughs> I love the urgency of which she flies out. Have you gone potty? What are you shouting? The time lords, who else? <laughs> it wasn't even them. Uh, you, see, you see? They haven't even got the common decency to come out and show their ear. <sighs> Where are we? Khan. I don't know and I don't really care. <laughs> yes, ejection bubble. What? A space parachute. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> There must be about a dozen red spaceships out there. It's like the Sargasso Sea. <laughs> that was actually quite a good one. Murdered. And suppose it was the crash. Widely established in the nebula of Cyclops. I thought I recognized the stars. Born in this part. <laughs> you here? Uh, within a couple of billion miles, yes. A couple of billion hey, miles. Gondo, get some lumps. I don't want to go in that bed. Two of them? A male and a female, Maran, in the valley below. Time machine. How oh, he come? I do not know. I say only what my eyes have seen. Show you. She's hiding in this little lock, little compartment. Flame of life. Warren, what is wrong? Why is it so low? The flame dies, oh, he come. Our sisterhood will perish. We are only servants of the flame. If the flame dies, we die. And so must we. Pika, the secret of the life elixir is known only to our sisterhood and the High Council of the Time Lords. You think the two I saw have been sent to steal the elixir? If that is so, we must deal with them. Mm-hmm. Summon our sisters. I go find food, Master. You're lying. You can't deceive me, Condor. <laughs> You've been looking for that arm again, haven't you? Can you spare a glass of water? <laughs> Yours. At last. <laughs> what a magnificent day. Huh. Well, I'm glad you like it. I have had several. I used to have an old grey model before this. Some people liked it. I did. <laughs> I think it's very young. Um, Charming. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, then, tell me, uh, tell me about your adventures. Hey, yeah. Yes, I... Modeling is one of my hobbies, you know, but... I'm just going to cover this up. this is not a very good example. No, I, I thought I recognized the face. It must have been from one of those crashed spacecraft, or that. Yes, that's another thing. Do, how many did we count, Sarah? At least a dozen. Fifteen. Sarah doesn't stand for this shit. He's an excellent fellow, very devoted to me, but his intelligence is not the highest. What happened to his arm? I see the machine of our enemy.
But with this one, such powers would have no effect. It was at night, I look up at the sky and I think, will I ever see Earth again? Oh. oh! I know the feeling. <laughs> that must be like what licorice or part? something. It was said by some you'd join the followers of the cult of Morbius. Malice, academic jealousy. I just had to get away. <gasps> I always knew that one day I'd have a guest with a head for such a fine vintage. I love like Sarah's total <laughs> mistrust in this story is brilliant. Or a telekinetic visit. What? We're on Khan. On the sisterhood of Khan. <laughs> yes. You were right all along. No, he drank the green stuff. Well played, kid. Well played. That takes more than just skill. That takes genius. Girl. What girl? Her. <laughs> Get them skates on, kids. These pacifist degenerates will be the first to fall his revenge. Oh dear. <laughs> Sarah is not there anymore. This story, I love this so much. The fact that he's made like a Frankenstein monster out of all of the the creatures, the aliens that have crashed on Khan. And this guy is just mental. Solon is just mental, but it's so brilliantly portrayed that I love to watch this. It's such a great kind of concept, really. And I, I love the humour in it as well. There's great elements of humour during this story which always makes me smile as well so it's a good one to watch this one. I'm probably just going to go watch part two and um, so I will see everybody soon. Thank you.